Hi, I'm Tree Tal, and in this video we're going to learn how to use the Ontario Well Records Map. Why would you want to use the Well Records Map? Well, if you're buying a rural property in Prince Edward County, it would be wise to take a look at the flow rate for the well, the water flow rate for the well, for the property that you're interested in, and maybe some of the neighboring properties, and the Ontario Well Records Map is the tool that you need to do that. Incidentally, whenever a well is drilled in Ontario, it has to be drilled by a licensed technician who, when the well is complete, has to file a comprehensive report with the provincial government. And those individual well reports are what you can access using the well records map. Well, how to get to the well records map? One way would be to go to treathall.ca and then click on the useful tools section and go down until you see Ontario Well Records Map and click on the link provided. Uh, another way to get there would be to go to Google or any search engine and search on Ontario Well Records Map. When you get to the page for the map, you can most of us can ignore this top section. You only use the top section if you have a well tag or a well identification number which has been taken from the well. Most of us have only an address or a location and, and we'll make use of the map. So uh, we'll enter the street address that we're interested in. And then when we get there, you'll see that there are a series of blue dots which mark the location of individual wells where there are well records available. Incidentally, uh, just in case you're uncomfortable, we're not snooping in anyone's backyard. Uh, this is we're, we're looking at wells on a property that my wife and I own. The, uh, in order to get to the well information, the, the actual flow rate information, I'm going to share a trick with you that took me a while to figure out. There is unfortunately no user guide for the well records map, and it took me a long time to figure out that to get to the individual well records, the well reports, you had to go to the upper right corner and click on the little bullseye there, making sure that it's turned color, and then go to the middle of the area that where you want to look for, uh, the middle of the area where the wells you're interested in are located, and then click in the center of the area. Oh, there, let me do that again. Uh, as you can see, there we are. As you can see, uh, it's a little bit uh, tricky and it, it requires some patience. So just to summarize, you click it, click the bullseye, click in the center or double click in the center, the center of the area that contains the wells you're interested in, and then use the cursor to expand the circle until it includes the, those wells and then click again. When you do that, you'll see what we've got here that for each of the blue dots, each of the wells shown, there's a red push pin. Now, if you click on the push pin, let's take this one first, the first well that we drilled on our property, you, that will take you to an overall uh, summary of information for the well, which to be honest, is not that useful. Uh, to get the well flow rate, you're going to have to dr drill down, if you'll pardon a bad pun, drill down deeper by clicking on the link that says HTML. Now we're into the detailed well report. And to get the flow rate, you have to go a good way down until you get to the results of well yield testing section, which in this case is blank. How could that be? Well, the first well we had drill was it drilled was dry. It was empty. There was no water. Uh, wells, new wells come up empty approximately 10% of the time in Prince Edward County. But I, I guess the good news, if you want to put it that way, is that uh, the nature of the geology in the county, the nature of the limestone in the county, is such that if even if you have an empty well one place, if you move a short distance away, you may find a productive well and vice versa. Let's go back to the map and try some of the other wells. But before we do, I want to share an important tip with you. Most of us to go back would go up to the browser back button 
but you do not want to do that. That will take you right back to start from scratch. Instead, click on the Go Back to Map link, which takes us back to the map. And now we can take a look at the other well, the second well that we had drilled on our property. And once again, click on the HTML link. When you get to the full well report, go down towards the bottom, and now we'll find results of well yield testing. Here is the number that you're going to be interested in. This is the recommended pump rate of 59 liters a minute. In other words, based on the well test, the technician recommended that the pump for this well be set at 59 liters a minute. It would be a sustainable flow from this well. Well, for those of, uh, those of us who still need to work in gallons rather than liters, 59 liters a minute is equal to about 13 gallons a minute, which is quite good. In fact, very good by county standards where, uh, just to put it in context, the minimum rate required to have a buildable lot is three gallons a minute. Now that we know how to find the well flow rate, I want to go back up to the map again and share a couple of cautions with you uh, to keep in mind when you're using the well records map. The first caution, the location of the wells shown on the map is not exact. So here was the first well drilled on our property. Here the map shows the second well drilled on the property, but it shows it on our neighbor's, on our neighbor's lot. In fact, this well that's shown here was really across the street, right about where I've got the cursor. So the, uh, the locations are usually accurate within, say, 100 feet, but you can't count on them uh, or 30 me 33 meters, but you can't count on them much more accurately than that. Second caution, I've already mentioned that water is unpredictable. And so the fact that one well may be dry uh, does not mean it, you may be able to find a productive well right nearby or vice versa. Finally, the, the time of year when the well test was done matters. If the well test was done, for example, during the heavy spring runoff in March, the, the well test may not be rely, a reliable indication of how the well is going to perform in the height of the summer dry season, say in August. Well, that's it for the Well Records Database. Thank you for listening. And if you have any questions about the Well Records Map or about county real estate in general, please contact me.